new hour of CBS Sports HQ coming to you on a Friday brought to you by the Capital One Spark Cash Plus card. What could unlimited 2% cash back do for your business? What's in your wallet? That is Haley Sun. I am Jordan Giorgio and we are kicking things off in college football with the Heisman Trophy race really heating up. I know, right? Like who would have thought a running back? from Boise State. I love State. it though. And a two-way star from Colorado, a generational talent I should add as well, would be causing such a fuss for all of these great <laughs> quarterbacks who are in line to win the world or the football world's most prestigious award, I should say. You got Cam Ward, Dylan Gabriel, the top two quarterbacks who have consistently been in the mm -hmm. mix. Of course, Ashton Genty chasing Barry Sanders' record as well. He's 1,103 yards away from tying it, which sounds <laughs> ridiculous saying it out loud, possible. but it's possible when you think about what he's done. So for more on the Heisman race, we toss things over to our Mackenzie Brooks, who has been watching this all season long for us. Mackenzie, break down the current numbers that we have in the Heisman race. Yeah, so what my team's really been doing all year is tracking after each week, you know, what is making the odds shift? What's bringing Genty up, bringing Genty down? What are the qualities that they need to be able to control to take this award home? So we've really started to figure it out now that we're, you know, week 11 into the season. And for Ashton Genty, it's about winning out, winning that regular season, but then going on and winning that conference championship. Again, Boise State, when you're not a power four school, you have to do this in style. And in style for Genty also means running for over 180 yards a game, which sounds ridiculous. But when you have a historical precedent like Barry Sanders that you have to live up to, it makes it really hard to compete with someone like Travis Hunter. So there's only a 15% chance he knocks through all three of the things on this list. And that coincides with around a plus 500 that the odds makers are showing us. If we move down the board here, we go to Dylan Gabriel, another guy. What the odds makers are showing us is he has to win out as well and he has to win the Big Ten title. That's because he's working up against another quarterback in Cam Ward who has the statistical edge over him. So he needs to win out and for him it's hitting that you know unspoken 30 plus touchdown rule for these quarterbacks winning the Heisman. Been since 2004 that a quarterback who won didn't hit that. So again 22 percent chance coincides with around his plus 350 odds to hit all three of these things. Now we go to Cam Ward here. He just has to go undefeated in the regular season and win the ACC title because the stats are easy for him. He's already got the stats going on. That's not the problem. It's really just winning out. If you don't have any ranked teams on your schedule, if FSU is doing what they're doing and now they're not a ranked team, now you don't have a strength of schedule that's really working in your favor. So you have to win out in style points. That's why he leads with a 33% chance around plus 185. Now the one guy I didn't mention, Mr. Travis Hunter here, he's also around plus 185. And we're thinking to ourselves, what makes him here? What makes him plus 185? 85 and that's because if you literally take 100% and you start subtracting Cam Ward's odds to do this, subtracting Gabriel's odds to do this, subtracting Genty's odds to do this, that's how you get the around 30, 33% chance plus 185 of Hunter. So for me, Hunter's the way to go because he's literally just hoping that the rest of these guys screw up and that's a good place to be. It's really hard for Genty, Ward and Gabriel to do the things that they need to do to keep this award in their control. So I think the best money right now is Hunter because he just has to be himself and prey on everyone else's downfall. Yeah, the rest of them, the model really has these boys uh, working, don't they, at the top? My gosh, for more Heisman talk, let's go ahead and welcome in our own college football analyst and host of the Cover 3 podcast, Chip Patterson, for more. Well, Chip, you just heard Mackenzie detail out all of the odds. This is a tight race right now with Cam Ward and Travis Hunter as the co-favorites. Who do you really see separating yourselves themselves? Well, right now, I think that Travis Hunter is in a unique position being a part of and the star of Colorado in a season where all of a sudden the buffs are in the mix for the college football playoff. Now, I'm not saying that Colorado with two losses right now is in the mix to get an at large spot in the college football playoff. You can tell that based on Tuesday's rankings release, but they are in the mix for the Big 12 title. And if Colorado is playing for the Big 12 championship on December 7th, then Deion Sanders, Shadur Sanders, and yes, that Heisman co-favorite Travis Hunter have a shot for the college football playoff. Now, the other piece of this for Travis Hunter that I think is so interesting is that he has to be a part of that, and that starts this weekend against Texas Tech. The Buffs were off last week. Lubbock is a difficult place to play, and they're going to need to score touchdowns to be able to get in and out of a hostile environment with the win, staying in the mix for the Big 12 title. So it's like Travis Hunter, we never thought would have these stages that he is going to have to continue 
continue to just wow voters with his ability to play both offense at an All-American level and defense at an All-American level. He is a one of one throughout college football history. We have not seen another. The Heisman Trophy is for the most outstanding player in college football. What stands out more than Hunter? Now, real quickly on Cam Ward, because I think McKenzie nailed it. He has every statistical argument that throws him in line with all of the other quarterbacks with gaudy statistics that we've seen from the 21st century. It's been an offensive explosion in college football over the last 20 years. And what we have with Cam is, yes, some of the double-digit comebacks. You know, they've got four double-digit comebacks on the year. So those are some of the moments. But, man, 29 touchdowns, just eight interceptions, the passing yards, the scores, uh, getting it done even with a touchdown reception uh, on of all things to be able to put a little cherry on top. Yeah. Uh, I understand why they are right there at the top. All right. Well, another quarterback that is firmly in the mix here is Oregon's quarterback Dylan Gabriel. Four weeks left in the regular season. The Ducks really showing no signs of slowing down. We saw McKenzie um, tell us his chances with the model said he needs to win out in the regular season, win the big title, big 10 title, and then throw for over 30 plus passing touchdowns. I mean, dare I say doable? Oh, def definitely doable. And don't forget, he's also chasing those NCAA all-time uh, yards records, NCAA all-time touchdown records. Now, is he a little bit of a cheat code because he's had 15 years in college football? Yes, but a record <laughs> holder is a record holder. And if Dylan Gabriel has that little extra bit to be able to support you know, where he is on the all-time NCAA records, that might be something that'll help him in this Heisman Trophy race. And Jordan, you know what else is going to help him in this Heisman Trophy race? his head coach Dan Laning because being there around this Oregon team after the win against Michigan last week um, Dan Laning is very quickly going to the talking points he is talking about more people need to talk about Dylan Gabriel as one of the best players in the country more people need to recognize all the small things that he does Laning is an electric figure he is leading the number one team in the country and it is very clear that he has set his sights and one of his I guess we're out of election season but one of his platforms that he has uh, for this final month of the year he doesn't need to uh, talk about his team because the team's performance is getting it done already I think he feels like his starting quarterback is being disrespected in the Heisman Trophy conversation mm. so look for more of that from the Ducks head coach in the weeks to come all right we definitely will as the weeks roll on here that Big Ten championship game by the way on CBS we couldn't be more excited for it let's go ahead and get to one of the non quarterbacks in this Heisman Trophy race and that's Boise State's running back Ashton Genty. He's having a historic season of his own, chasing Barry Sanders' record. Do you see him getting it done, Chip? Not to win the Heisman Trophy, but I would say he's almost certainly a lock. Um, for those of you who are, are not familiar with the Heisman ballot, there are three spots on the ballot. That's the way it's always been. And Ashton Genty, to me, feels like a lock to load up on second and third place votes. But unless he breaks the record and has some help in terms of other players losing their way, it might be a little bit difficult for Genty to get here. And the reason why I've reached this conclusion is that 10 years ago, we had another player Get really close to Barry Sanders record 10 years ago we had Wisconsin's Melvin Gordon uh, go and make a run at the record he finished with more than 2,500 yards rushing at more than seven yards per attempt and where was Melvin Gordon second he was the runner-up in the Heisman Trophy but he was loaded up on second place votes loaded up on third place votes that year in 2014 you might remember was another Oregon quarterback Marcus Mariota winning by one of the big landslides now all that said I think that we should celebrate Ashton Genty I, I hope that he ha does have that opportunity to be able to experience the Heisman weekend and everything that goes along with it because to see a player who has decided to stay at Boise State who committed to this program instead of seeking the NIL and the transfer portal you know he was the star last year and he came back and has lived up to the expectations he has a chance to be a part of a, a really really big season for a program with great history so I want to celebrate the individual but if the conversation is do I see him winning it no I see him probably finishing like Melvin Gordon as the runner-up
All right. Well, regardless if he wins it or not, we are very lucky to watch this kid week in and week out. Lastly, Chip, back to quarterbacks here for another moment. Indiana's Curtis Rourke has led this undefeated Indiana Hoosiers team because of his touchdown to interception ratio, 19 to 3. What is his path to a Heisman upset? Because he's a bit of a dark horse right now. A huge dark horse. If you're betting on Curtis Rourke, you think he's going to go into Columbus and he's going to take out Ohio State and have Indiana 12 and 0 at the end of the regular season, playing for the Big Ten title on CBS America's Most Watched Network, the Network of Stars. O'Rourke, remember, also had to do this while missing time with a finger issue. Had to go through some surgery to be able to fix it after his hand had hit a helmet uh, earlier in the season against Nebraska. The Rourke's experience that he brings is really helped with that touchdown to interception ratio. He has great decision making. Uh, but I will say on the Indiana side, one of the things that makes the Hoosiers really dangerous, actually a good football team. In the eyes of the CBS Sports 134, they are not number eight, they are number five is that they are well-rounded. Curtis Rourke is a point guard who distributes the ball to a, a plentiful collection of playmakers at the skill positions. Their offensive line gets better as the game goes on. And the real secret sauce for Indiana is the defensive line. So Curtis Rourke's path is to be the best player or the star player on one of the best teams in the country. The only way I see Indiana getting to be one of the best teams in the country at season's end is to beat Ohio State. So mm. if you're going to bet on Curtis Rourke for the Heisman, you might as well take that Hoosiers money line in Columbus <laughs> as well. Might, might as well. Well, his quest continues this weekend on CBS. Chip Patterson joining us here to break down the Heisman Trophy race. The Hoosiers look to remain undefeated behind quarterback Curtis Rourke this week and move to 10 and 0 hopefully as they face Michigan at home at 3:30 Indiana currently a double digit favorite